Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody's doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored, and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended family. Just thank you for taking the time out for yourself, seeing what the masses and, you know, the powers that be and the source are really truly bringing your way to uplift you, encourage you, and to help you along your, your you know, your current journey. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if you respond with the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacts your life and you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos give you good vibes or good information that you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, uh, or even a fellow empath that are going through some really trying times and need confirmation or validation towards their life purpose, or, you know, or their, even their path, please go ahead and share them while you're at it. Give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, um... My meditation music, it felt really perfect for me right now. Uh, it's called Heal Your Heart Chakra, 639 Hertz, Aura Cleanse, Chakra Healing, and Meditation Music. And I'll post that link in the description box below. And today I'm um, doing a video about Hayoka, uh, Twin Flame 101. Hayoka is going through discernment and forgiveness from your past experiences. Yeah, I've been going through a lot of that, you know, um dealing with a lot of different things you know we're all going through these different shifts uh things happen in our life during the daily you know uh that's brought to our attention about things we're trying to deal with or things that you're trying to let go of i never i never like using the word cope because it's like you're putting a band-aid on a broken leg you know that doesn't work um you have to be able to either you're going to keep holding on to things and where it manifests into something very negative for you and you're not going to be able to start your next chapter because the doors are already opening for you but they're like a little bit open because there's still some more work you need to do and I it really you know uh, when I'm talking about different stuff that is going on with my life you know I know others has probably experienced that as well you know um, being able to get through um, my situation with my my adopted family, my mom's ex-husband and his wife has put me through a lot of stuff. And it was like, you know, during my daughter's graduation uh, a couple of weeks ago, you know, I went ahead and invited them and, you know, got my closure. And it's like, I, you know, I had to take that sorry I never got, you know, um, allowing myself to not, you know, stay angry because they never apologized. They never, you know, um, was very truthful or forthcoming to me, you know, knowing I needed closure, but they wouldn't allow me to have that. And it was just like, I kept on telling myself how proud I am, I was, but I allowed it, you know, I forgive them, but I kept reliving that, that scenario all over again, because there's sometimes every time I look like my dad, you know, look at my dad's picture, you know, it seems surreal to me that I was going through this, you know, to actually know that your family would put you through something like that you know it's my my life sounds like a lifetime movie network you know uh mini series and it was like so many different numbers was coming to my synchronicities and um let me know i just because you forgive you have to be able to let that go you know if you want to be able to have um better things in your life you keep getting all these messages and stuff like that that's going on in your life but things doesn't feel like it's changing but they are you know um you have to go through it to get to it you know i say that all the time it's a daily process you know because it was just like dealing with something like this you know they you know the masses and universe understands that's a lot to get over you know anybody that abuses you is like it's hard it really is and especially when somebody denies you lies about your identity basically altering your identity of yourself um, and then you have to find out the truth about things, you know, that was a really hurtful situation for me to go through and it took a lot, you know, um, because I, I suffered so much 
Um, even though there's things that I have, you know, did on my own accord, you know, from the decisions I made, but it's like, you know, you have all these beautiful things heading towards you. Yes, you got that peace of mind, but you're still holding on to that scenario of the things that they did. You know, um, a lot of times it's like, you know, I said, I forgive that, but then all of a sudden, you know, a little past memories will come back of me being abused and me being teased about who I was related to and the family not caring about me. They just used me as a pawn, you know, and I was dealing with that. And it, it was just like, you know what, you deserve better in your life. You know, the things that are applying to your life that you've worked so hard for are going to be a lot better than what somebody has put you through. Yes, that's a hard thing to be able to get over. Uh, pause for the cause, y'all. I'm sorry. Sorry about that, my daughter called. But yeah, going through all these different process, you know, I, you know, I said I want to be able to be that example. You know, you have to stand for an example of, you know, going through things, conquering things, and you know, concentration, con concentrating, and not losing focus on the things you're working towards. Yes, it's a hard thing for anybody to go through any kind of abuse, especially when it comes from the family and the people that you held close to you that you thought would protect you. You know, that's the worst feeling for anybody. It's like, like I tell people, you know, it's already hard when you're adopted because that puts that, you know, that frame of mind in when a person's adopted. Uh, if you were, um, basically not in the right household i can't really say that that would happen if you were in a good household because there's some people that i know that were adopted and they were blessed to be able to have a, a good upbringing and a family that cared and you know even though families have their issues you know what i'm saying but it was natural it was normal but with my situation it was already like dag my family didn't want me then i have a family that adopts me and then puts me through a worse thing because worst thing that you know when when people have to give up their children for adoption my mom was only 16 so it was not like she really had a choice my parents weren't married that was the only way they would have been able to keep me is if my dad and my mom got married but you know things didn't work out the way they did and just being able to sit here at times you know I meditate and my heart feels broken or whatever and it sometimes it still feels surreal to me that I'm going through this and you know it's just like so many different synchronicities you know I look up my numbers all the time when I you know see numbers that mirror each other you know just know that the angels are communicating with me about that because they really are proud of me for the things that I'm doing things that I've conquered because that takes a lot to have to go through like I tell people I would not wish this on my worst enemy you know doing that because my family allowed me to play out my fears you know everybody got that one worst fear they asked me what my fear was and made sure it went through and it's just like me being able to forgive them and let go I still held that anger in my heart even though I thought you know I thought I let it go you know I'm just keeping it real I really thought I did but it was just like with that scenario going in my head because it was just like they were trying to play me once again and they couldn't do that and it was just the fact is I had to be able to let it go like my dad he would <clears throat> certain songs would play you know he was telling me you need to be happy you know take the walls down just forgive and enjoy the moment and it was really hard for me to be able to do that but I understand it I get it you know if you want better things in your life you can't keep holding grudges even though if you might say you take that sorry you never got you know um, dealing with that it takes a lot but you have to be able to really forgive and let go you know it's just like you can't change the past you only can do you know things for the future you know you have to be able to live in the now you know because if we're too focused you know you're trying to make your life better for the future but you don't want to dwell on the future because the future hasn't gotten here yet and it's like if you're over obsessed about it it can mess your life up <laughs> you know what i'm saying but you holding on to the past that can mess the, mess you up in the present to end up messing up your future but it's just like you have to be able to use discernment um being able to know what to you know what to deal with and you know what you just have to let go of and you know it, it's just like with my life lessons it is really showing me that you know if you're going to lead by example you have to be able to walk the walk and talk the talk and it's true you know i keep it 100 with y'all there'll be days i'm happy and you know blessed and i'm still blessed you know everybody's you're not gonna have a good day every day but suffering from manic depressive um being mentally and emotionally scarred 
you know, in so many different ways and trying to put your life back together where I don't have a therapist. I don't have people I can be openly talk to about my situation as much as I would like to, but because it has messed me up so many times for me doing that. So I just tell what I need to tell and just going about my business. But it's just like going through that has really took a turn on my life. And it's just like when you are seeing the, you know, the things that happen around me, it, it's like I have to deal with a whole lot of things at one time. And it's not just that, but it's just other things that's going on around me. And that's where the strength comes in, especially when you're having everything come at you at once. You know, if you're an empath, you're dealing with a lot of different things. You're collecting people's energies left and right, left and right. You're trying to heal from things that occurred in your life. Because with that spiritual awakening you went through, that's already enough right there as it is to try to, you know, heal from, to let go of. And it's just like if you know you're getting signs every day. You know, if you were one of those type of people that pay attention to your synchronicities, pay attention to what the angels and, you know, God and the, the source and them are sending messages to you. You're getting the dreams. You're getting the daydreams. You know, you're seeing things that you resonate with on movies or in books. Anything that draws you to that thing, whatever is drawing you to, is allowing you to see the things towards the next step on your path you know you have to be able to do that and I have to tell myself you know yeah you forgive them but you're not forgiving yourself you know and I had to really forgive myself for allowing myself to keep constantly going through that painful scenario and it's just like you know like I said these are the reason why I make videos because I go through these lifetimes you know not lifetime but you know uh, stage of different difficulties that I have to really heal from you know because I really thought I was healed but going through this, I guess it's just like, it's still a shock value for my life that, you know, you can look at certain situations and say, yes, this is real. This is really happening to you. You had to go through this, you know, for umpteen years and being able to tell your story to be able to help others as well, to reassure them. Yeah, we go through a lot of hell. And, you know, when you can be that person that had been so damaged, so tainted, jaded, whatever, you know, and still want to reach out to help other people in love, that lets you know you have a purpose in life because you never want anybody to ever feel the situations that you were placed in, you know, for you to be able to deal with. You know, I try, you know, if I help people, I'm not looking for anything in return. I know what it felt like to be going through this situation and don't have anybody to talk to about it. My spirit guides, my dad, you know, um, my mom, all these people that have passed on, you know, that's the only people I had really in my life that helped me deal with that because other people either thought I was crazy, didn't want to believe me, uh, try to throw salt in my game, my <laughs> program, try to block me from my blessings to make sure I didn't get it, which was very hurtful for me, you know, especially when I went out my way to help people. But I had to keep constantly telling myself, not everybody got the same heart as you do. You know, just because you wouldn't do that to somebody else don't mean you can't be mad at them because that those people are ch showing you who they truly are. You know, be able to forgive them and let go. You know, knowing people are human, hurt people hurt people. You know, they feel like they're justified for doing that. So it's just like going through all those different directions. You know, if you know you really have some important things in your life that you're working towards. And yes, you probably have been damaged in the worst kind of way possible but if you know if you want those good things to come to you your you know basically your 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 finances or you know whatever blessings you got coming towards you you're working hard for it. you you can't constantly let your abuse be that thing that's going to be that milestone you step over you know but don't keep putting yourself in that same you know painful scenario of replaying those situations over and over again because it's only going to hinder you and keep you in a you know in a in a dark you know cycle a low frequency i had to keep telling myself that you deserve happiness you're strong you see it all the time you know just because of the things that i you know i put out and i had to be able to tell myself that forgive myself for allowing these things to keep affecting me like it is you're like yeah you forgave them but you're still going through that same scenario in your head so that lets me know you've forgiven them but you haven't forgot it and you, you and then it's just the fact is you won't allow them to forget it either you know, well, I did, but I didn't, you know, because I was like, I told him, I know what you did to me. And I remember everything, you know, all, you know, I was um, put up under hypnosis where certain things they allowed me to forget just because I had a whole bunch of night terrors. You know, I had night terrors about my dad all the time and he was telling me the truth. And I, I mean, that really affect me in a mental way growing up. 
So I had to have all those things wiped out of my mind. So I wouldn't have to go through them and have them all come back at one time <laughs> was a lot on top of my dad's death. So I had a lot I had to deal with, not cope, but deal with, you know, being able to walk away from people that messed you up over financial purposes for them to be able to live good. And you actually still let them breathe. You know, there's a purpose in your life for something. <laughs> you know, there is a purpose in your life for something. So allow yourself to heal. Forgive yourself for allowing these things to keep affecting you like they were. If you forgive them, forgive them all the way around. Because you know, whatever you got aiming towards is going to be, a, those blessings are going to be my, a lot better for you to be able to deserve than constantly going through something that you cannot change about people. Only thing you can change is yourself, how you respond to it, how you look at it, how you perceive it, you know, how you take it in. Those are the things that you're responsible for. So allow those things to happen for you because you truly deserve happiness. Hell, I truly deserve happiness. And it's just like I'm desperate to want to get out of my situation because it's like a nightmare I can't wake up from. So it's just like I have to be that one that ends that nightmare. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video. Much love to you. You know, drop me a line and let me know, does this resonate with you? If you're going through some painful situations and, you know, really trying to seek comfort and, you know, a peace of mind, let this be the sign for you. You deserve pure happiness in your life. You've been through enough already as it is. You, you don't have to keep torturing yourself for those things. So um, my post notification shout out goes to Ray Fisher. Richard Mora, and um, Spirit of the East Journey Working Healing. Much love to you, and I will see you on my next video. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. Let me know how you're doing so I can go ahead and give you a post notification shout out. Share. Give me a thumbs up, and I hope y'all have a blessed week and send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly uh, blessed and highly favored and forever loved. And knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better days. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart, and I hope you get everything that you, you've been dreaming about. Much love. Peace. Be wild.